Alright, in this video we're going to learn how to remove the interior engine compartment on a Astra van or GMC Safari van. So, first of all, I'm going to tell you what needs to be unscrewed and removed. We'll just go over all the points here now so you can see them. Right here, can you see that? There's, there's one bolt there that holds this compartment on. Then there's another bolt on the opposite side of there, which is right here. Um, down on the bottom, where by the heater vent, there's a nut that needs to come off here. Another nut on the other side that needs to come off right here. And there you can see that. So that allows you to remove the whole console and get access to the engine cover. Now the engine cover is held on by these sort of buckle arrangements and then you'll also need a big giant screwdriver. This is a big giant screwdriver that I keep for this purpose to reach back next to the engine compartment and unscrew a couple of a uh, couple of big bolts that are in there that hold it on in the back. So I have removed one bolt from here, removed one bolt from here Removed a nut from down here and another nut from down here. And this allows you to remove this. Now we'll have to unplug the cigarette lighter when we do it too. All right, the van is not really conducive for shooting video in, so hopefully you can see it. So you rock it bottom of it forward, then you gently pull it off. On the back side, there's an electrical connector here that needs to be unplugged, which is for the cigarette lighter. So now that's unplugged. You can leave your crap in here as long as you find a place to lean it up and keep it standing up. Otherwise all your crap will spill out all over your van. Put it back here on the seat. Uh, this duct is for the heater. That, and it's held on by the two nuts that we removed earlier. So you just need to sort of pull it down to remove it. Like that. Then you look for your big screwdriver. And the big screwdriver is going to go right in here. And just flip that around, make sure that we can see where I am. And then let's see. So the big screwdriver goes right in here along the top. And there's, you'll see a big screw head uh, bolt in there. So you unscrew that one, then you unscrew a similar one on the other side. And then um, I will show you once I've unscrewed them what to do next. Now this, these are really pretty long bolts, so you have to unscrew a while before they come out. And they don't actually release from the engine cover. They stay in it. I'm going to go ahead and undo these buckles too, so that it'll be easier to remove the uh, cover once the bolts come out. Alright, so now just sort of reach under it. Shake it loose. And putting it back on is the reversal of this. Um, it's going to be a little tricky getting it to line up properly. Bring your seats all the way back so you have room to maneuver it. And it is out. So now, what are we looking at that may be of interest to you here? We've got... Uh, Distributor cap. Inside there is a rotor that you need to replace every once in a while. Uh, of course, spark plug wires. This is how you get to the air cleaner and change the air cleaner. I'm trying to get this thing to pass emissions one more time. So uh, it was pretty close to not passing last year. So I'm going to give it a new air cleaner. I'm going to go in here and make sure everything's clean in the cap and rotor. Um, and right here 
is the EGR valve. Uh, sometimes that goes bad, and if that goes bad, you'll uh, your engine will be real shaky and, and it'll rough, run rough. And so what I do, rather than replace it, is just take it out and it, it gets all gummed up from uh, just from use and from probably poor design as well. So you take it out, soak it in WD-40 for 48 hours and keep opening and closing the valve until it opens and closes cleanly and then you put it back on and it's good for a couple more years. So uh, that's it, that's how you remove the engine compartment from the van. Uh, when, you, when you're putting it back on, you just want to make sure that you get it in, these, in this channel lined up properly and those the bolts on the side won't screw in if if you've got it misaligned. I uh, also want to make sure that you plug in your cigarette lighter when you put that part back on. So I hope this helped. Um, gets you in there to clean your air filter and uh, check your cap and rotor.